response video to Rachel Stevens and wonder of her hate comments to a comment I meant as a compliment to her. Like, people aren't cartoon villains. They're really not. They're real people dealing with real problems. Everybody except me, right? Problems. And not everybody has learned healthy coping mechanisms. Yeah, you, you, you forget somebody who's been left at and treated like this way for three decades. You time somebody got, get, gets pissed off. Now I ain't taking this shit in much longer. Not everybody has this like perfect life where everything is so wonderful. We. Now, nor should ever anybody have a life where everything's imperfect and fucked up with nothing going. Nothing. Live in a fallen world. Disease exists. Abuse exists. Like, things just don't work out. All the time, my, my fucking case. I mean, I just don't understand why people are so quick to point the fingers at everybody. Don't do this, don't do this, don't. Because everybody's a filthy, unloving sinner worthy of damnation in the lake of fire. After being, uh, after the way people have treated me so long, I'm kind of glad people are going to go burn forever. If they treat me like, if they're like the people who have treated me this way. Don't do this. Instead of saying, hey, I know that you're doing these things, and of course that's not God's highest and best for you, but like, what's going on in your life? Like, what are the things that you're dealing with? As if you give a fucking shit. Because God tells us that we're supposed to bear each other's burdens. And how can I do that if I'm just screaming at you to stop engaging in this sexual sin or having abortions or... Make my comment like I did to you down here. Screaming at me. Look, I like long arms on a girl. I'm jealous. I got BDD. I would give a million, a billion dollars if I had to have long forms where I got. I feel like a fucking man that. It may, I'm jealous. You got long arms. I wish I had mine longer than yours. I'm taller than you. Why the hell are my arms not longer than yours? In fact, why are my arms shorter than yours? If you're a female and I'm a male, males are supposed to have longer arms and legs than their female counterparts. And here you are, you're shorter than me. I'm six feet tall, and my forearms are shorter than yours. Fuck you. Fuck God, too. Doing drugs, or, you know, being an alcoholic, like, just screaming at an alcoholic to stop drinking is not going to address the underlying issues. Maybe they've seen some stuff in their life. You know, not everybody is living in, like, a upper-middle-class suburb where everything is just, like, white picket fences. And even people who are wealthy have seen a lot of stuff as well. So, like... Can we be more empathetic? <laughs> How about you? Can you be more em empathetic, you 355 pound cunt? Now, if you're truly a Christian, in spite of the fact that I just called you a 350 pound cunt, you're going to show me love. And if you don't, either Jesus is not real, or you are, are not a real Christian, or you are a hypocrite. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to believe in Jesus, go all the way. Or don't go. He's either Lord of all, or he's not Lord at all. our approach to dealing with people struggling with sin can we just realize that first we have to address the feet and I bet you won't even say a goddamn prayer for me after this either feelings and the things that led to them choosing to make these decisions that are not the highest and best that God has in store for them that are behaviors that God doesn't approve of and we understand that God doesn't approve of them. We're not saying like go out and do these things like have fun. What I am saying is there is something that led you to this decision. There is something that is causing you to seek out this sort of behavior. Sure, you're fucking unloving comment to me. Sure. Fucking bitch. What is the underlying root cause? And that's what we need to address. It's kind of like Cain. Remember when... Uh, what, I'm trying to find what she's fucking said. ...part of his flock, the firstborn. 
and got it. She was jealousy. Bitch, I declare fucking war on these YouTube people who will not pay me attention, who will not help me get views on my YouTube videos. So let's go to war, God fucking damn it. I mean, have you seen the piss-ass poor views on my YouTube videos because I'm not a good-looking guy? Because I look goofy? I shoot the big middle finger to heaven to say, fuck you, God, for this. <coughs> Here's something that really fucking pisses me off. You see this goddamn comment? I did not consent to being disposed to your king. Look, she's, she's talking to me like she's on the offensive. Like a dog. I'm married, and you're dis disrespecting my marriage and your BC BS with your BS. This girl's a Christian, okay? So she's talking about all the love of Jesus and how it doesn't matter if you're gay or how you you've had five abortions. God still loves you. And <coughs> this tub of lard bitch, three hundred pound cunt, shows me hate. Fuck you, bitch. I'm pissed off. You're supposed to be a Christian. And that... I got BDD. I wish my arms are long as yours. I'm jealous. I want to get cosmetic surgery. I want to lose some weight. I want to get hair transplant. Or that... Well, I will show hate until somebody fucking kills me so I don't have to kill myself. But I'm just chicken shit to kill myself. But I go in the hood all the times, cursing, swearing, on my bicycle, a white guy. One day, somebody's going to meet me with a bullet. I'm sick and tired. I'm angry at God because I can't get views on my YouTube videos. Have you seen the piss boy? You even give a fucking shit. No, you don't. Let's, let's, let's examine, examine your fucking comment, you 300-pound cunt. And yeah, so if you're a true Christian... You're shit. You'll do what Jesus said. Pay for them with despitefully using and persecute for you. Love that enemy. But no, you're going to be the fucking hypocrite like all these other Christians on the internet. You start using customers, they, start, they block you. You fucking hypocrite bitch. The one the one of Christianity today is wet noodle. No revival. Christians are not following Jesus. Christians are hypocrites today. Sometimes I doubt whether he's even real for all this lack of love about you fucking Christians, right? Don't know how to fucking love you like, like your Jesus is supposed to. Okay? I said, you are cute. I also love you massively, massively big and long arms are. That's because I'm jealous. I wish my arms were longer than yours. I hate God for my arms being short. I'm a guy. I'm supposed to have longer arms than you are. You got, and I don't. That pisses me off. That makes me shoot the big middle fingers of the heavens. If I cannot get the cosmetic surgery to get long forearms, I. You just don't have know how angry. Okay. You respond so hatefully. You you calling me calling it my tink. What the? F Do you have such a low opinion of me? You fucking. F I have a low opinion of you. Uh, if you, you, hit, you need to hit the goddamn gym. What you weigh three hundred fucking fat, three hundred fucking pounds? You tub of lard biscuit bitch. <laughs> Here's my fucking reply. I'm not gonna reply, read it because I had a goddamn stroke. It's hard to read stuff without stamming over the fucking words. God fucking damn it. And nobody loves me enough to donate to my PayPal so I can get the goddamn stem cells so I can get normal again. Folks, sometimes I'm glad that people are going to burn forever who don't love me. Yes. Damn it. And if I'm bad there burning and die, if I go to hell and I don't want to, well, at least you'll be there, right, Myth? I'll see you in hell. Fuckers. Goddamn motherfucking unloving bitches. Ha ha ha. At least you're getting what you fucking deserve for not loving. Look, all I 
want is to be a good looking guy for a little while. This is what I truly want. And if God won't give it to me, I shoot the big middle finger to God. If I can't get at least my hair transplant. I'm trying to get a song out. You, you, you can check it out. My song is on Spotify, Apple, Amazon. Please check out my song by Wild Man Chris. The song is Baby Punch My Face. It's only a dollar. Please buy a copy if you really give a shit. Yeah, if enough people buy my fucking song, I can get the cosmetic surgery. So I can truly be happy. I'll pay any price for God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost for a few years being a good looking guy. Then after that, he can strap me down and put my ass in that goddamn nursing home. Jewel and all. The only thing I can do is write sermons on the internet. Bless God. I, I'd rather do that. I'll, I'll pay any I support the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bring it on, God. Bring on. Bring on. It, everything you got against me, bring everything except your everlasting wrath. Just mean to save me in the end. I'll take any judgment you got against me to forgive me to be a good looking guy. I invoke my free will. I demand it. I demand it. Give it to me with the judgment. Yeah. If I if only I can get to sell enough songs. And my song has no customers. So you can buy it and not offend your Christianity, which you don't really live after, anyways. Follow all the cherry picking commands of Jesus, which you follow. Yeah, there's no customers in that song. If enough people buy, I can get the hair transplant and stem cells and be normal again. If I get the, uh, the money, I can get some stem cells so I can talk. I used to, used to, I can get the hair transplant. Cause I'd rather die than live with this sin and hair. I'm not. And maybe if I. Ran against God enough and cursed God enough, maybe he'll kill me. I pray I'd be like the man in the Corinthians. That God will deliver me over for the destruction of the flesh that my spirit may be saved in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because I, if, I if I had to live like this much longer, folks, I want to die. I'm not, ta I'm, I'm not accepting this goddamn shit. God fuck it. I'm not gonna I'm sick and tired of being a loser. I'm sick and tired of being a social media loser because if, if you cannot pull the numbers on social media, you are a complete loser. If I was a good looking guy, I had I had I have at least ten times more of these that I fucking got. I'm not I'm not accepting this goddamn shit. God doesn't love me enough for me to put up with this shit. I'd rather just fucking die and go to heaven. No awards. But thank you for being like so many other Christians. Not, 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 not watching my fucking videos on YouTube. I can't get Paul Washer and John Piper or Franklin Graham to talk with me. I can't get the atheist to talk with me. So I'm going to go spread hate. I'd rather, hey, I'd rather people want to kill me and hate me. At least acknowledge I exist than being ignored. And be contenting with being. I, I, I do not accept being named with fa lameless faces in the crowd. I got to push a shit from one end of the hell back and forth for eternity. And people know who I am. To live this fucking life and be going to heaven as a nameless faces, bitch. I don't mean that, but I, I'm, I gotta say it to you in terms you can fucking understand. If you if you even give a fucking shit. God fucking damn it, God. Look how ugly I look with my thing and hair. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm angry at you, God. Fuck you for not getting me. Just please kill me and let me go to heaven. If I can at least have my goddamn hair. A man without hair is not a man, a real man. A man without hair is ugly, 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 ugly. And deserves to die. Me includes me especially. Fuck it. God fucking damn it, God fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> now back to the this video. Frustration. What is a goddamn <laughs> Nobody walking in victory is just just like, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna do meth today. Like 
No. Holy ghost. There are so many crazy things that people have gone through that are just horrific, terrible things that people have gone through where they use unhealthy coping mechanisms to get through just another day. And it, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm doubting Jesus as well. I invoke the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I swear if Jesus got to let me be a good looking guy, get my hair back, had the long form where I want, and look in my 20s, I swear by the name of Jesus Christ that Jesus is not the Son of God. But it's of the devil. I, I, I call you to as a, as a witness. I invoke his name, and I'll take whatever judgment he brings, just as long as he saves me in the end. I'll take anything he, just as long as it lets me enjoy a few years being a good looking guy. No, I don't want sex. I just want the girls to think I'm a good looking guy. What kind of God is this? He knows I don't want sex. But he won't let me be a good looking guy. But he's, the perverts out there, all they want to do is have sex. And God lets them be a good looking guy. Fuck him. If you don't talk to people about this, if you don't realize. What the fuck do you think I'm doing to you? I'm talking to you about this. It's like. Nobody walking in victory is just deciding, you know what, hey, I'm going to do meth today. Like, it doesn't matter what sin you're telling people, hey, stop doing this. If you don't know why they're doing it, like, you're just screaming. Shut the fuck up, bitch, and let me get out of my other fucking video.